So I have a five-point plan. The first of our five points will be to end the abuse of the health and care visa. We will stop overseas care workers from bringing family dependents, and we will require care firms in England to be regulated by the Care Quality Commission in order for them to sponsor visas. Second, we will stop immigration undercutting the salary of British workers. We will increase the skilled worker earnings threshold by a third to 38,700 from next spring, in line with the median full-term wage for those kinds of jobs. Thirdly, we will scrap cut price shortage labour from overseas by ending the 20% going rate salary discount for shortage occupations and reforming the shortage occupation list. Fourthly, we will ensure people only bring dependents who they can support financially. Finally, having already banned overseas master's students from bringing family members to the UK, I have asked the Migration Advisory Committee to review the graduate route to prevent abuse, to protect the integrity and quality of the UK's outstanding higher education sector. Immigration policy must be fair, consistent, legal and sustainable. That is why we are also taking the fight to illegal migration. Our plan to stop the boats is working. Small boat arrivals are down by a third, even as illegal migration across the rest of Europe is on the rise. Madam Deputy Speaker, today we have taken decisive action to reduce legal migration with our five-point plan. Enough is enough. We are curbing abuses to the health care visa. We are increasing thresholds, cutting the SOL discount, increasing family income requirements and cutting the number of student dependents. And I commend this statement to the House. Yeah.